because I have no Scooby-Doo of where that pin is. This is a hard one. It was good until I hit it, because it could end up in the crevasse over there somewhere. <sighs> Sit, baby. Oh, boy. Break! Hey. 100 yards, pretty much on the wet button. Bunkers left, short, middle, right, long. Great. Don't hit it in the bunker, Kerry. Hey guys, Kerry Gray here, and today we are playing the Preserve at Bannon Dunes. Just a stopover on my coaching journey, traveling around the world. And this is gonna be the first time I've ever done a whole vlog. We're gonna do 13 holes, hitting everything from a lob wedge up to about a seven iron from what I can see on the scorecard. But it's gonna be a bunch of fun, it's windy, it's gonna be a challenge. I can't wait to see what lies ahead. So let's waste no more time, and let's go check out the Preserve here at Bannon Dunes. All right, put it in the hole, let's call it an afternoon. All right. 101 yards, little sandwich, you're gonna punch this one up there. Oh yeah, I like it. Go baby. Oh. <laughs> well, picture's in the pudding, right? right well, I think, I think that was some good teamwork there, mate. <laughs> uh, I'll caddy for you anytime. I had absolutely no idea how that was actually gonna come out. Especially when you come to courses like this, sometimes the greens will change a lot. They'll kind of be like very bouncy. The response of how that ball hits the green changes all the time. So let's see if I can roll this one in and get a, get a bird to start with. Might be a bit left to right here, I think. Not quite, we'll take a par. All right, so we've got second hole, 153 meters. So this one, it's feeling quite interesting. It's like a bit of wind helping off the right. We can see how it funnels in. It's quite a, a large opening front right here. It looks ominous, but the big fat part of the green is a little ridge, probably about five or six short. So I've got a nine iron. I'm gonna knock this one down here. Pretty much going to go straight at it. Bit of a pull. It looks like it kind of just cleared the bunker on the left. It's about pin high. Good shot, just a bit of pull left there. Well, to be honest here guys, this one here is pretty dead. Very dead. Super tight lie. Super tight lie. A little bit muddy. Got to carry it probably seven or eight meters all down slope here. No way I'm stopping it. So I'm going to try and go up this bank and then roll it back down. Just give myself a chance for a par from there because I can't pretty, I definitely can't land it anywhere near here on the down slope. So we're going to have to go long left. This is a great thing about short courses like this. It just brings in a lot of creativity and gets you thinking about how to play all these different shots. I got a lob wedge in my hand, 58 degrees. I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna go sandwich. And I just need to try and judge how far up. It's a bit of a guess. Oh, fatted it. Too long. Get a pop. The bleeder, just outside right, bring it back. I'll take that, I'll take that. Tiny little par three, tiny. All right, so got 62 meters, 68 yards here, but zero green to work with. I mean zero. I'm gonna try and fly this past. Can't really feel any wind here. It's quite protected. So I'm going to try and hit this a little bit higher than I would normally. I've got lob wedge here. Sit. That's a tough one. What a great hole. Real tough. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with that. Like, you can see how very little room you have. And even if you landed on this downslope at the front, would it kicked out? pretty far, there's 
another like 20 or so yards of green behind where my marker is. So just putting it anywhere on this surface to try and have a chance at a bird, I'm pretty happy with, even though it plays so short, great design. Quite a long pipe here, a lot of right to left. Slag it up there. Get yourself a park here. Well, it was good until I hit it. Oh, what a pull, what a pull. Little bit of left to right here. I'm gonna aim this left edge. Take it. Certainly not the most eventful hole I've ever had. Okay, so pin looks in the middle of the ridge. It's playing about 125 yards. Obviously short is better than long. So I'm gonna hit a little knock down here. I've got a 50 degree wedge. Lots of right to left, lots of right to left. And I don't wanna be bottom right. Anywhere kind of like midline to the pin to left kind of looks pretty good for this sort of shot. But I gotta launch it low, plenty of room to run this one up. So I'm gonna get a little knock down. One bounce and skip it up. Sit, baby. Sit, sit. Just dropped a lot earlier than I thought line was good. That's uh, short. Still a putt. Look pretty happy with that. They didn't pitch up. Greens are probably a little bit softer than I expected. Look at me making excuses. Had nothing to do with that. It was just that, uh, I suppose in these sort of like exposed golf courses, they traditionally bounce a lot. Whenever I've played Bamboogle or something similar, there's been a lot of that big initial first bump, but they're quite responsive, which is nice. Got to learn that for the next few holes so I can actually get somewhere close to making a birdie. Bit of right to left. Everything seems to be swinging right to left today. Let's see if I can get this started somewhat on the planet. That, my friends, is called an overcompensation. At least I got left to right. Everything slopes, which is great. And a lot of greens are difficult to read. I feel like these are relatively easy for the short ones. Obviously not the long ones, because I'm missing by a mile. That'll do. All right, this is a hard one. Straight downhill into a breezy wind, 148. I'd like to say I'm gonna get off my par train, but I don't know if that's actually gonna happen. Straight into the wind. And this is the great thing about courses like this, right? It really causes you to think about all your shots and shot making specifically. I think everyone should learn how to play golf on short courses. So 148 meters, little seven iron, I'm gonna punch, knock this one down. Hit as low as I possibly can. Keep it out of this wind. Real abbreviated follow through. Sit, baby. Oh boy. That went too long, flew the green. Probably a little bit too low and just soared through. Let's pray that's okay. Definitely not the best leave I've ever given myself. At least I got a bit of green to work with, super high above me. Can't even see the pin. Face super open, lots of speed. Let's just give myself a putt. A little bit right, bit of a directional issue today, but should be okay. Okay. Go from trying to get off the par train to trying to stay on the par train. A little bit right to left. Break my beat. Oh. Well, you know, I was pretty happy with that putt. In my comfort zone of being over par. All right, so I got 91 meters, 100 yards, pretty much on the wet button, which means on the nose. For those of you who don't know, wet button is a dog's nose which in Australia means that it's pretty much spot on 100. Now I got gap wedge, lots of green back left, lots of green back left. Once again, guessed it, 
low launching wedge shot. I'm gonna have to land this about 110. Wind's gonna buff it up a fair bit here. It's gonna be tough to control. Okay, well, that squirted off the face probably about 10 right of where I thought. It's hit the bank and then rolled all the way down front left. So interesting little route to the pin, but we'll play it from where it is. So in the same regard that I hit that bank and kind of rolled all the way down over here, which is such a fun course to play. Now I've got that as a benefit so I can kind of fly it past the pin, in theory, and it roll back. So. Just got to ensure that I get up there and don't short side myself. Flub it into the bunk and knife it over the back and make a quick quad. So I just need enough loft and length. Come back, baby. That should be good. Take that par. Back on the train. Never a good sign when you hear a very loud four letter word being yelled from the other side of the golf course. I've had a couple of them already. Alrighty, back down wind, helping over the left, 140 meters, 155 yards. Ocean at the back, looks like a big false front. Now there is a green sheet here, but I'm not taking the time to look at that thing, which is pretty standard, but 144. So this is, <laughs> this is the thing, right? Like I've got, 155, 160 now, downwind, and I'm thinking that a little, even just a soft disc wedge is gonna to be too much with the wind, and then I've just hit seven iron from almost the same distance coming back the other way. Bear in mind it was a little too long, but shows you the power in good architecture, wind. So a little bit left, lead it off the wind. Felt good, sit baby. Sit. Unless it's done something funky, could be in with a chance. A little bit too far right of the pin. See, this is the benefit of actually looking at the green map. I would have seen that I had this slope. My ball's landed pretty much directly on the ridge and made its way down. Could have landed at top left and rolled it back. But you know what? It's just a gamble. Come on, baby. Birdie time. Hey, I will take that. See, you don't need to hit it in the right spot. Don't listen to that advice from a coach. That's just me being lazy. Back to square after my sensational putting display on one of the holes so far. The rest of it's been pretty average. 65 meters. Can't really see the pin, base of the pin. You can see it just there. A little bit into the wind. I've got a lobby. Looks like I can kind of land it past, but I'm going to land it at the base of the pin here. Should be okay. Definitely starting to get windier now. Get to one under. It's always funny when you hit shots off the tee, like it was a short little 70 yard pitch. It felt like it was so far right of my target. And it just never really is. It's always nice when you come up here, it's closer than you think. Okay, let's make the most of it. Wind's gonna affect this too. Right to left and right to left wind. <sighs> that was great until it wasn't. But, par. Might help to actually practice putting one day. Even par, we are 98 meters, 107 yards. Real complicated maths conversion of Add 10% if anyone doesn't know how to go from meters to yards. And even though I play most of my golf, I would say now in yards, a lifetime of playing in meters, I just don't have a feel for yards at all. So when someone says that even though it's 10%, because I don't play that much, I still can't feel that, but I can feel the meters. All right, so give myself a coach's lie, which means that whenever you're doing a demonstration as a coach, always give yourself a good lie just so you get that little bit of extra edge. Okay, so 100, I'm gonna hit a little knockdown spinner here. I've been getting pretty steep on all my shots today, so a lot of that's got to do with me trying to knock them down. 
I don't really want to change my technique now because it could end up in the crevasse over there somewhere. So 97, I'm going to need a little spinner. Sit, baby. Sit, sit. We'll go do something other than what I said. That's okay. Left to right. It's been a while. Bit of a ridge in the middle. Come on, baby. Yeah, one under. You know what? It was one of those putts where it just felt good. And I was gonna say that before I hit it. I didn't want to jinx myself. Good choice. Remember that. So I'm gonna to have to succumb to using the uh, green sheet that I should have been using the whole time to try and figure out where the heck I should actually go here because I have no Scooby-Doo of where that pin is, which means no idea. All right, so 10th hole. Beautiful little graphics on these cards here. God, I should have seen this earlier. Bunkers left, short, middle, right, long. Great. Don't hit it in the bunker, Carrot. So 96, 105. I originally had sand wedge, but I think the wind's gonna knock it down too much. And I hardly ever, ever hit full lob. Most players should never do that anyway, mainly because there's so much loft. When you do have a lob wedge, for example, to control the speed of your swing versus the height and the spin rate, but for this instance, because there's so much wind behind us, it's gonna knock the ball down. So I'm gonna use my lob wedge. It's so tight here as well. Be good, baby. I think it's okay. I think it's a bit short, but it's not in a bunker. So all in all, pretty happy with that leave. Even though it's such a short hole, first time playing here, I'm actually pretty okay to have this sort of length for a putt. To be honest, if I walked up, I would have realized I would have had way more green and probably been a little bit more confident, but I also don't want to have a 10 hour round to play a par three course. Not quite. I will take that. The 11th. What a hole. 131. Meters, pin looks back. 144. Oh, this is the sort of hole that makes you want to start it out over there and hit a big sling. My buddy Mac would do that. Get a nice big hook off that. Look at the size of that bird. That is a, it's an eagle or a pterodactyl. I really not quite sure what to do with my ball here. I'm gonna hit it just left and bleed it with the wind just a little bit. Lots of room to the right. And if it bounces back off the right towards the hole, we'll call that a win. Just like that, if it goes about 30, sit. That's good. Probably could have landed that another 10 or so and actually had a chance, but got a putt there. Another long chance. I'll tell you what, the greens are like perfect speed for the amount of wind. Pretty gettable out here. Definitely the sort of course, if you played it once before, you could tear it up if it, the greens were this responsive, but it's just good fun. Bear in mind, you could also have a nightmare out here. So much trouble. That'll do. Actually happy with that. Great hole after great hole. Okay, 108. 118. This looks birdieable. So we're gonna need a little knockdown. Did have a wedge. I don't know why I took that. Little gap wedge. It's playing in a little bit. Everything's a knockdown. Every single shot is a knockdown. Straight at the pin. Come on. Oh boy, oh boy. No idea what's over there and hopefully it's okay. Just too short and quick. Length felt good, strike felt good, but, oh, must have kicked off a bank, just about went in the hole. Now it's all the way over there on the left. Surprise after surprise. Okay, so as you can see, must have landed probably about 15 right, sat close. There was no way it was ever gonna go in, but 
I'd like to think so from the tee box there. Here's a great tip, by the way, is when you're playing other holes and you're passing them, it's always good to, let's say, this is the second hole over here, be aware of what hole it is and at least take in the surrounding. So when you're standing on a tee box, you have some sort of idea of what the ball might do. This one here is just another get it close, get my par, get out of there, see if I can make a birdie up the last. Or maybe get lucky and hole it. Maybe get lucky and hole it. No. Computer says no. This is on a slope. Part. All right, last hole here. 79 meters, 86 straight in, buffeting pin. It's one of those shots where it just, you'd love to see it land up the bat. Suck straight back into the cup. Guess what? Another knockdown. It's gonna be a little sand wedge this time. I don't know how much it's gonna spin because I can't see the undulation of the green here. But it's gonna buff it in a fair bit. Let's finish on a good note. Be the one, baby. Oh, that wind just got it. Sit. You know what? Can make that one. Actually, very quietly happy with that one. Hardly any green to work with back here, but it's not the biggest swale, but certainly be tough to make a bird from there. So one bogey, two birdies. Let's try and make it three, finish two under. I would take that any day of the week. Lots of boring pars out there. Time for some putting practice, I think. Okay, downhill slider. Come on, baby. Oh, boy, that broke a lot. Well, there you go, very anticlimactic end. What a great place. What a great place. Well, there you go, guys. Just finished 13 holes here at the preserve at Bannon Dunes here in Oregon. Just a stopover on my coaching journey going from Pronghorn down to Pebble. Managed to get on here. One of the best $120 I've spent. Uh, 13 holes of golf, great fun. Very happy with the performance, but if you get a chance, absolutely come here. You won't regret it. Mm -hmm.